Greetings, everybody. Chris Adams, Head of Research and Insights at Miles Partnership. I want to talk about digital transformation, how COVID-19 has really created not only disruption, but opportunities for destination marketing organizations and their tourism partners. So let's have a look first at the meeting space and how hybrid meetings has created significant opportunities for destinations. Challenges as well, because it certainly adds complexity and cost to running a meeting, but significant opportunities in a couple of ways. First, how can we work with those event and conference organizers to ensure that the content gets out, not only to the in-person attendees, uh, but to a new audience globally. Uh, many of those people may never uh, have come to the destination and to attend the meeting in person, but how can we reach new people in new places with compelling content and how can we use that as an opportunity to highlight the destination, to promote coming and visiting that destination or connecting or investing in that destination in other ways, using that sort of virtual platform, and how can we also work with the conference organizers to create compelling reasons to come in person, taking advantage of the unique spaces, places, and experiences of a destination. So I have to be there in person. Singapore's been a global leader in this space. A global all-star session at Destinations International, they shared what they're doing in the hybrid meeting space. They've got a whole booklet around best practices, a resilience roadmap and recovery roadmap for the meetings industry. Take advantage of having a look at that recording and uh, the roadmap that they've laid out. Number two, hybrid working workers, or we call them free range workers. So during COVID-19, of course, workers had to, of course, work from home. Many of them want to continue that flexibility. In fact, between 40 and 70% of workers in research that's been undertaken in a number of countries want flexibility at least one or several days a week when they can work from home. This has created new opportunities for people to work remotely in locations. So whether it's uh, in their second home, in a vacation rental, or at the, at the other extreme, of course, is digital nomads who have no sort of long-term home, but move progressively to various locations that they want to try. So how can a destination marketing and management organization connect with people who are working remotely in their location and provide other compelling opportunities to uh, contribute to uh, economic development and to the community? Uh, one great example of this is Hawaii's private public partnership program called Movers and Sharkers. Uh, they have invited expats to return, other people to come and live and work in Hawaii, but they've also provided a compelling range of ways in which those people um, can connect with local volunteer opportunities, they can uh, understand local businesses and perhaps contribute to them, is there investment opportunities, etc. Can they consider moving more permanently? Um, or of course, um, hiring people to work with them locally. So how can this sort of free range worker, um, remote working opportunities combine travel and tourism, talent recruitment and economic development? A compelling opportunity, particularly for remote or more rural destinations that traditionally struggle to attract these sort of high technology, high talent uh, workers. Now they have greater flexibility. The world out there is now a little closer. Right, let's talk about virtual experiences in this space. So virtual experiences were here, of course, again, pre-pandemic. They've been amplified and accelerated uh, most uh, clearly by Amazon and Airbnb investing in two major initiatives and platforms, Amazon Explore and Airbnb Virtual Experiences. So let's have a quick look at Amazon Explore and then we'll have a quick chat about what this all means. Introducing a new service that takes you across the globe in an instant. Welcome to Amazon Explore. Hello, my name is Kitty. I'm your host today. Hi, Hi Kitty. Kitty. Welcome to my store in Mississippi. Thank you. So I'm looking for a new scarf. Oh, I've got great ideas. Come with me. I'm just excited to see where Grandpa grew up. Oh, you're from Mexico City. That's great. We want to surprise Mom for her birthday. She's a lucky lady. Are you ready to make some sushi? Yeah! yeah. 
Learn from a local expert. There's a shiny. So uh, you can see here, Amazon Explore, real time, one-to-one -one, uh, virtual shopping and tour experiences. And so this provides great ways in which people who ultimately, of course, we want them to come to our destination, but they can still interact and contribute to local businesses, retailers, artisans, craftspeople, et cetera, uh, including both paying for that one-to-one -one experience and of course, then potentially buying products. You don't have to, of course, use a major platform like Amazon or Airbnb. You can use, uh, whether it's Facebook Live or other technologies, create your own sort of virtual tour or shopping experiences. Uh, but this whole virtual experience area offers again, new ways to blend the sort of virtual and physical worlds in compelling um, ways. Okay, let's talk about uh, the streaming revolution and how storytelling, which has always been a vital part of destination marketing and management organizations, um, how can we uh, convey, curate and share that content across new planet um, platforms? So streaming services now have surpassed more than a billion subscribers. Businesses like Netflix, of course, have uh, already growing pre-pandemic, just accelerated even further. And so it doesn't have to be traditional sort of more uh, television type content. Uh, we can reach audiences now in new ways uh, with shorter format, non-traditional content and format. We've worked with Visit St. Pete Clearwater and Visit Florida, for example, on a episodic series called Life Rewards as sort of a drama comedy, um, eight minute, 10 minute short little episodes that really have the destination, in this case, St. Petersburg Clearwater is another character in that storytelling. And so it's part of this rich opportunity for telling content to new audiences in new ways. And then finally, I wanna talk about high tech and high touch. And so this again was a phenomenon or trend pre-pandemic. Uh, this is uh, Citizen M, their hotel, of course, they already had pre-pandemic a contactless technology. So I could physically check into the hotel, get into my room without actually interacting with a person at all. Um, and of course that meant uh, from a health and safety perspective that was even more advantageous during the pandemic. But as high tech continues and there's cost reasons as well as health reasons for sort of contact, contactless technology, the value of that one-to-one -one personal experience becomes even more important. It's an integral part of travel, meeting and connect with, connecting with new people. So how can a destination rethink its visitor center, for example, to, to offer even more engaging ways to connect with locals and understand the experiences? How can you support training of concierges and other frontline staff to ensure that they offer a great personal experience. As high tech becomes even more pervasive, these sort of unique moments for high touch will become even more valued and more important. So those are the five opportunities. We talked about events. How can hybrid events create new ways to not only reach new audiences uh, to promote the destination, but of course, doubling down with event organizers to mean that uh, we've got compelling reasons for people to be there in person. The free range worker, how, how can we create uh, this sort of blending of travel and tourism, talent recruitment, and economic development, uh, engaging, connecting um, remote workers in our community and get, getting them to contribute in other ways, richer ways. Uh, virtual experiences, again, bl blends the physical and the virtual worlds and allows us to work with local tourism businesses, tour operators, artisans, craftspeople, and retailers to, to reach new audiences in new ways. Uh, the streaming revolution means we can tell our stories across new channels, new formats um, to new audiences globally. And then finally, as technology, particularly things like contactless technology become um, even more a normal part of everyday travel, how can we raise up again those unique moments of personal interaction, personal service uh, in our destinations and in our tourism businesses? 
It's been wonderful to connect with you today. Please uh, reach out to me with any questions. Uh, we've got lots more content on our website, uh, Global All Stars, many of the resources we've talked about today. Look forward to connecting with you at a uh, event shortly.